Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, or this is your second time or third time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Sarah, and I'm glad to have you here. I make content all about Poland as an American expat living abroad in Europe, and like the things I'm learning, what I enjoy about being here, different facts about Poland, all that kind of stuff. So if you like this content, be sure to subscribe for new videos every single Wednesday. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you that you like this content. And yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. We have a great time here on this channel. So if you want to stick around, I'd love to have you here. But today's video, we're going to be talking all about and comparing a few different things from America and Poland. And we're going to be comparing what you can get for $100 on a date night in America and in Poland. I'm going to be talking all about you know, like different scenarios, you know, restaurants, price breakdowns, going to a movie, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to be a direct price comparison between what I experienced in America and what I experienced here in Poland. Granted, America is very, very big. So I can't say that these prices for America are going to be for the entire nation because that's not true. I'm only going to be talking about the place where I used to live in America, which was Reno, Nevada. So we're going to be comparing Reno, Nevada to Krakow, Poland. And I think it'll be really interesting. So if you guys are excited, again, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, for more content just like this every single Wednesday. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So I don't know about you guys, but I love date night. I think it's so much fun. It gives you an excuse to dress up, to look nice, to go out with your significant other and just really spend that good time together. Of course, <laughs> this is all before COVID hit, right? So right now during COVID, date night definitely looks a lot different than it does now. We're usually ordering in food, hanging out, enjoying some beverages, that kind of stuff. Um, but before COVID hit, we used to love going out on a date night, specifically to dinner and a movie. And in, at least in America, that was really like the pinnacle of date night. That's usually what you did. It was dinner and a movie, dinner and golf, dinner and something else, but it always involved food and then another activity. So I thought it'd be really fun to kind of take you guys through what a date night price wise would look like in America and what you can get for $100 for a date night versus what you can get for $100 here in Poland. And I know that the currency here is different. So I have taken the PLN, which is the Polish currency, and have converted it to the US dollar. So that way you can kind of see what the difference is. And I think it'll be interesting and fascinating. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started with what a date night cost wise would look like in America. So in America, when my husband and I would go on a date, it would always be like Friday or Saturday night after work on a Friday or, you know, like middle e middle to later evening on a Saturday. And we would usually go for something a little nicer, not super fancy, but not like fast food takeout. So we would kind of do middle of the road. And for us, where we lived in Reno, that was usually Texas Roadhouse. Uh, for us, that was a great place to go. It was pretty much middle priced. I wouldn't say it was super expensive, but it also wasn't super cheap. It was a nice place to go without actually splurging. I think another pretty comparable idea would be the Cheesecake Factory. For those of you guys know, you know Cheesecake Factory is so good. But we would, you know, Texas Roadhouse, anything along that line, we would consider it's like a nicer date night. So that's kind of what we do. Texas Roadhouse has a lot of middle of the road options. You, know, you could do really like specialty burgers. You can do some steaks, some nicer salads, um, you know, just that kind of stuff. So when we would go on a date night, you know, let's just pick Texas Roadhouse, for example, and we would go out, you know, we would get a few drinks and appetizer and a few entrees as well as tip. So this is kind of what we would spend, you know, when we actually went out to Texas Roadhouse for a date night dinner. So it has been a few years since I went to America and have been back really, but I actually just pulled up the Texas Roadhouse website to just kind of compare the prices. And I would say they're pretty much in line with what I remember. So you can usually spend about $7 per drink that you choose to get. So whether that's a beer or, you know, a specialty cocktail will be a little bit more, maybe like closer to $10, but say both of you, you and your partner get just a regular drink. That'll be about $7 per drink. So right there, that's just $14. And then you can do an appetizer. And the appetizers will range anywhere between like $7 to $12. But the one that we would usually pick is about $10. And yeah, so you have your drinks and your appetizer. So you have $14 plus $10. Right now, you're already at $24 just for drinks and an appetizer. And then you can have your entree. So whether you're doing a burger, a steak, a, you know, a dinner combo, whatever, you know, each person would get an entree. So it'd be like 15 to $20. So one person could choose like a $15 entree. Another one could choose a 20 and you know, there you go. And then once you're done with dinner and you start to pay, you know, usually you would tip. So 
it's not where you have to tip, but it's definitely kind of a courtesy thing, at least in the US. So anytime we would go out, we would always just do like a 10% tip. Obviously you can do more, you can do less, but I think 10% is a good middle of the road number. So whatever your total bill came out to be, it would be about 10%. So between the drinks, the appetizer and the entree, not including dessert, you're gonna be spending $59 right there. And then you do a 10% tip, that's gonna be a $6 bill on top of that, assuming you're doing the 10%. And there you go, that is the cost for dinner. And absolutely that is definitely what we would be expecting to spend when it comes to this kind of restaurant and what you're getting. Now that we finished dinner, let's go ahead and go to dinner. So it's probably gonna be, or go to a movie, which is gonna be somewhere, probably not super close to where you're eating unless you're eating in like a um, kind of like an outdoor complex that also has a movie theater right next door. So all depending, but when you go to the movie theater, you're gonna pay for tickets, right? Unless you've already reserved online, but it, again, it's gonna be about the same cost. It'll be about $9 per ticket. So for you and your partner, it'll be about $18. And then of course you gotta get concessions. So medium popcorn that you can get is about $7 and a drink is gonna be about $5. So whether that's a soda, bottled water, anything like that around that, of course you can get a bigger size of soda or you could even see if they have like a combo. Again, these are, I don't know the exact, exact combos that you can get everywhere and it's going to be different but that's what we would pay in reno and that was pretty much average for sure of what we would spend when we went to a movie so since we spent 59 dollars without tip at dinner six dollars for tip for the for dinner at least and then again for the movie you add everything up it is exactly 100 dollars for you to go to a medium scale restaurant and go to a movie theater and see a movie so that is, I'm not going to lie to you. This is exactly what we would spend anytime we would go out for a date night and we wanted to do dinner in a movie. This is absolutely what we knew we were going to spend. And we weren't shocked by that. It was very normal to us. And it was like, okay, great. Like we'll just spend it. And I remember even in college, like if we really wanted to like treat ourselves because we didn't have much money, we would only go to a nice dinner like once a month because we didn't have really any cash because it's expensive, you know, 60, $65 for dinner. That's so much money. And so that's what we would do, choose to do like once a month, go to a nicer dinner. But, you know, as we got older and we had, you know, adult jobs, I guess we would do dinner and a movie maybe once a month. I mean, it's really hard because it was a lot of money to go and spend that as you can see. So, and again, this isn't saying like, these are high end fancy things. This is just what you would get on a date night. And this is like a pretty low key date night. I would say if you wanted to have it be really nice, absolutely. You could go way over the top for like a really nice date night, but just like a kind of a casual situation. This is, I would say very, very average to what you can spend at least in Reno, Nevada. Okay, so now that you know exactly what $100 can get you in Reno for a date night, dinner and a movie, let's talk about Krakow, shall we? So uh, we have been to many, many date nights here in Krakow because we, again, like we enjoy doing that. And so, you know, going to dinner and a movie, again, we were paying $100 back in America. So then we were like, well, whatever, like we'll just go to dinner and a movie here shocked about the price difference that you can actually find. So let's break it down. Let's go to like an, a medium scale restaurant here in Krakow. Kind of from what I've seen, I would say the medium, like mid of the middle of the road restaurants kind of live in Kazimierz, which is the Jewish quarter of Krakow. And I would say higher and nicer restaurants are usually more in like the old town square. Like those are much more expensive and they are like they serve nice things, but just because of the location, they are super expensive. So I would say Kajimir's is a nice mixture of, um, you know, like quality and like really like a nice interior and just like a good experience. So um, we actually went to this place a few months ago before things shut down here in Krakow for COVID. So we went to this nice Polish restaurant and we each got a drink. So we each had a beer and then we had a soup as an appetizer. We had two entrees and then of course we tipped. So I'm gonna put the uh, USD equivalent here so you guys can see, um, but for each drink, so we did you know, obviously two drinks. It was 13 PLN per drink that we had and it was like, you know, a normal size half liter beer super delicious then our soup we had a pumpkin soup and just like a basic appetizer was 15 pln then of course two entrees right so you know i had a 30 pln entree and my husband had a 40. again i would say that's pretty pretty good i mean it's like not super cheap but also not super expensive at this restaurant you could go up to maybe 65 pln and you could also go down as low as 25. so you know you can see there is a slight variance but that is kind of what we did is like 
a nicer restaurant and like the and atmosphere was really good. It was like, it just, it was a really good restaurant and it definitely wasn't like super fancy, but it was definitely not something uh, like, a, like in and out or like a super fast food Mexican place or anything. And then we tipped 10 PLN. And I would say that, you know, again, it just depends on what you feel comfortable with, but like 10 to 20 PLN, depending on how much your bill is. I mean, I don't think that's unreasonable to do. So dinner total with cost, like for what our food was and tip was 121 PLN, which, I mean, I would say that's a pretty good deal for what you're getting for all of the food and the atmosphere, the location, et cetera. It's nice to like middle of the road, I would say. It's absolutely not like super cheap, but it's also not expensive. We've seen places here in Krakow where you could easily pay like 250, 300 PLN per couple for food. Um, and they definitely are like very fancy. So I would say usually like a, a cheaper restaurant is definitely like, you know, like a, like a cheaper takeout place. I mean, both of us can easily get away for like 55 PLN. So um, I, I would say definitely middle of the road here. So now that we have done dinner, we're going to go on to our movies. So here in Krakow, they have a place called Cinema City, and we usually go to the one in Kazimierz because if we go to dinner in Kazimierz, it's very easy to just like hop over and go see a movie there and then just come home because it's kind of all in the same area. So for us, it's not that big of a deal to just walk everywhere, and that works really well. So the movie theater that we <laughs> used to go to, uh, it was about 19 PLN per ticket. And then over at the place that we would go to, it would kind of be like a popcorn soda combo. If you wanted something like that, it would be about 25 PLN for just like popcorn and a drink. And then if, again, if you wanted a bottle of water, it would be 10 PLN. So you add all that up and it's about 73 PLN. Of course, give or take, depending on what the numbers actually are. Again, I couldn't really look because the theater is closed, but that's what we remember paying whenever um, we went to a movie theater last year. Okay, so between the same type of food and movie, what am I actually going to spend here in Krakow? So you add all that up and it's 194 PLN equals $52 for all of that for the same thing. So literally for half the price, you can get the exact same thing here in Krakow. So you're like, oh my gosh, it's half the price. I Krakow is so much better. The cost of living here is cheaper and also the wages are cheaper, are much lower than in America. So of course, you know, you can't really say like, um, you know, everything is just so much, like it's obviously cheaper here, but it's cheaper because of a whole bunch of other factors. I just thought it'd be interesting to like really compare and see like what your money can get you. So if you, you know, when the world opens up and you want to come visit uh, Krakow or, you know, really anywhere in Poland, I think you would be very surprised at where your money can go and like what you can actually do for it. Um, but I definitely also think it goes to show like, if you want to have a good time in um, Poland, you don't have to spend a lot of money, you know, like, and even if you aren't making a whole bunch of money, you know, you can definitely like save your cash and then go do something fun. And it still is relatively affordable. So I think that's really cool. And it's something that I wasn't really super expecting because at least in America, I mean, you just saw the prices, like it's expensive regardless of how much money you make. And I just think that's crazy. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video informative, entertaining. Uh, hopefully you learned a little bit about what you can get here in Poland and what your money got you in America. So even if you're not from either of these countries or if you're from one of these countries, I mean, it's exciting and it's kind of cool to see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe again to my channel so you can see new videos every single Wednesday about Poland and things like that. I will be talking more about my dog because he turns one year old next month crazy i know so you guys are going to start seeing more of tucker because he really has grown and it's been a crazy year so if you like that and you want to see additional content about my dog then uh feel free to stick around so again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next week with a new video